folks, hope you're doing good today. I've got three bands for you today. And it's the good shit, it's hardcore day today. Uh, and this is just straight up hardcore as well. None of that post hardcore messing about or any stuff like that. You know I'm a hardcore boy, so this is gonna be a good one. First up today, we've got Violent Life, Violent Death, cool name. Uh, and this track's called Sadness Reigns. Let's get it up on the screen and let's check it out. Let's get playback. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Fat guitar tone. Fat drum sound as well, it's got a good bottom end to him. Cool vocal tone. It's almost black metal sounding in a way because it's real back of the throat, gravelly stuff, quite high pitched. Sounds dope. Got good vocal layering on it as well. Yeah, these boys are fat. Nice. Got the right energy changes. Just feels right to move from one section to the other. Yeah, real heavy vocal, man. The dude's going for it. Wide open throat stuff. Nice bass sound as well. I'd say the vocal definitely brings in a kind of blackened edge to this. Black and hardcore is the shit. Good washy cymbals. I thought it was the guitars that had a fat low end on that, but I think it was actually just all the bass. Because uh, once we heard that bass bit, you could hear that it was kind of fuzzed out, a bit distorted, but it was a fat, bassy low end. Um, and then you could see actually that they were using Marshall amps and stuff, which aren't particularly known for their low end, like a orange amp is, say, something like that. Uh, so yeah, I think that was kind of a big bass sound, very cool, because the whole track sounded super fat, and it turns out it was probably mostly the bass. Uh, sick vocal as well in there, nice blackened edge to the vocal in my opinion. Sounds sick. Now we're gonna move on, keep it flowing. This band is called Ball Kick, uh, and the track is called In The World. Um, and this is from the Polish tour. These guys sound a bit more old school. And the guitar tone, the way it's mixed. More raw. Proper classic hardcore. Now these guys haven't got as big a bass tone as the last fellas, which was massive. That was my only, only, my only ever complaint with hardcore from the kind of early 2000s, which is what this sounds like to me, is it didn't have enough bass. 
are still quite thrashy, still quite very guitar driven. Um, and the bass kind of, unless it was live or similar like that, in the mixes it tend to get overlooked and kind of pushed to the back a bit. But it gives it that classic sound. You know, when you hear really bassy hardcore, it doesn't sound classic because the classic stuff just wasn't that bassy. He's got, he's got a good energy though. That's what I love about hardcore. It's just you get into the groove, you get into the beat. It's just got that heavy, hard nod energy jumping up and down like these guys are now. Don't. Heavy vocal again. This dude's a bit more lower and guttural than the last dude. But yeah, that's what you want to hear from a hard... Oh, we still going with something? That's what you want to hear from hardcore vocals. Shouty, angry, pushing the air out the lungs as hard as they can. I think that's the end of the vid. Um, and just releasing that energy in the vocal in that way, you know, really pushing it. That's what I love about hardcore vocals. That's what I used to do in my band um, when I did hardcore back in the day as well. Um, if for me, it was a release of energy. It was just a pure energy release on stage, shouting as loud and as hard as I could uh, into the mic and into people's faces and all that in the crowd. It just doesn't get any better than that. Right, this last band up, I think they're called Hilltops Are For Dreamers, which is a cool name, and the track is called You Are Not Alone. So let's hear it. Now these guys are a little bit quiet though. I'll crank them up for us. So I like to get everyone nice and loud on the channel. Turn it up for me. one's got a bit more of an atmosphere to it. Still got that hardcore. Again, these guys sound a bit more classic hardcore, not super bassy, a lot of guitar, chunky, crunchy guitars. Oh, so we've got a bit of singing in this one as well. So they have gone a little bit post-hardcore with it. I didn't catch the singing part when I was listening to him. I just heard that heavy hardcore and I was like, yeah, they're going in the hardcore day. And I should have maybe put them on yesterday with the uh, melodic hardcore. But this stuff, that's classic hardcore. The double vocal sounds cool. Good washy cymbals moving the energy about on the drums, which is nice. Yeah. The cymbals sound great. Big wash to them. Yeah, so these guys have got a kind of more progressive, melodic edge to them. Not sure if these guys are from Portugal, but it looks like Portuguese architecture. Yeah, the extra melodic guitar in this sounds nice. Brings in a kind of, you know, melodic, more kind of emotional edge to it than just straight up angry hardcore. So these guys have got a bit of kind of postness to them in that respect. But then they bring it back to this classic stuff. The nice chugginess. So yeah, dope, nice. Well, we had a bit of a mix today then. 
I thought we were just going to be full on straight hardcore today and we were for the most part but these last guys brought in a little bit of a emotional edge to it a little bit of uh, melodic and harmony and stuff um, which you know isn't super classic but the rest of the track yeah that's uh, that's a bit I caught when I listened to it I thought yeah these sound like classic hardcore so they got the the classic edge to them and a bit of post to them as well but they mixed it up nicely um, so yeah good job but for the other two bands definitely got that classic hardcore sound other than that the first band had a way more bass to them um, that you know the, the, the first band had the, the beats the energy the vibe the vocal although the vocal was a bit blackened as well but bringing in that bass uh, made the sound I guess a bit more modern but we did have those classic elements in that band as well second band were just straight up classic hardcore the tone uh, the energy the bounce the vocal straight up classic uh, and then as again we got uh, it's not really post hardcore is not really modern now uh, but it's more modern than the classic hardcore uh, so yeah we had a nice mix today that's a good kind of mix of hardcoreness I guess uh, some modern some classic and then some kind of post hardcore mix up with some classic as well so yeah pretty good spectrum I've enjoyed it I enjoyed all the bands today while I remember to do it and while I get the actual video off the screen as well, all over the place today, it's so hot here, it's like 35 degrees, and that's like in the 90s for you in America. Uh, and for my British skin, it's too hot. But I'll give the video a superb, because it was good. I enjoyed these bands, hardcore's my kind of vibe. Very, very cool. Uh, see you tomorrow. Uh, what day is it tomorrow? I don't even know, but we've got some punk on Sunday, um, and I'm not sure what we've got in between then. So I'll see you tomorrow for whatever's going on then. See you guys. Bye.